The sixteenth letter of the Hebrew alphabet is the ayin, which looks like this in the modern Hebrew alphabet. But in the ancient Hebrew, this letter was the picture of an eye. The Hebrew word ayin, the name of this letter, means eye, as found in Exodus 21, 24, eye for an eye. On a side note, the Hebrew word translated as for in this verse is tachat and means under, but is often used in the context of in place of. So Exodus 21, 24 should read I in place of an I. The letter ayin has the meanings of watch, know in the sense of seeing and experiencing, and shade from the act of shading your eyes in the sun. This letter is silent and is used as a glottal stop, like in the word Baal. Some words that begin with this letter are Eved, a servant. Avar, a verb meaning to cross over, and is the root of the word Hebrew. Ed, witness. Of, bird. Am, people. Oef, neck, and may be the origin of the word giraffe. Notice the similarity between the word ayin and the English word I. Is this the origin of our word I? The pictograph of the letter ayin can be seen in this inscription, which includes the word ba'alt, meaning lady, and is the feminine form of the noun ba'al, meaning lord. The early Hebrew ayin evolved into the simpler form of the Middle Hebrew around 1000 BC and can be seen in this inscription on a potsherd which has the Hebrew word Shema meaning here. The Middle Hebrew letter became the Greek letter Omicron which then became the letter O in the Roman alphabet. Around the 4th century BC, the Middle Hebrew letter then evolved into the Late Hebrew, which can be seen in this Dead Sea Scroll. The Late Hebrew then evolved into the Modern Hebrew letter that is still used today, and can be seen in the Aleppo Codex.